So I have the people in the comments fighting over, uh, in one of the videos, I said a good man leaves an inheritance for his children. Children, you gonna tell me it's not, it's not money, it's character. <laughs> ha, his character. A good man leaves his good character for his children. So what you're telling me is I married a whole man with no character. Because I got married when my husband was in his 40s. And my husband's father died last year in 94. So you want to tell me my husband didn't get any character until he's in his 50s. Is that what you're telling me? No, it's your poverty mentality that you don't have any wealth that makes you think inheritance is character and not money. Another one. A high value man doesn't mean money. It means his character. No, it doesn't. That is not what a high value man means. Stop lying to yourself, people. Leaving an inheritance for your children's children is not about his character. My husband, daddy died at 94. Are you telling me the man lived his whole life into his mid fifties with no character? No, a high value man does not need mean he got good character. No, that's not what it means. You just is trying to fit your man or men. You're trying to fit into a description that doesn't fit you. So now you try to change it to fit you. No, it doesn't. You don't fit. Your man don't fit. But it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, y'all. Because listen, the high value man is a new concept. I've been married 11 years. When I was dating for my husband, I didn't hear the term high value man. So I couldn't pray for a high value man. But you know what's in the Bible? A good man. So I prayed for a good man. And what is the description of a good man? He leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Inheritance, money, house, land, 401k, 457Bs, pension, savings, taxable account. When my husband father died and he went down to the morgue, he didn't bring his father's character. He brought his money. <laughs> When we go to the cemetery, he didn't bring his character. He brought his money. When my husband go to the bank to pay the mortgage, he don't bring his character. He brings his money. When my son is getting ready to go to college, my husband can't bring his character. He's going to bring the 529 that I've been saving since he was born. The Rockefellers, the Vanderbilts, money. Stop lying to yourself. Inheritance does not mean his character. It means his money. Now, am I saying he shouldn't have a good character? No, that's not what I'm saying, but that's not what he means. Am I saying a high value man should not have character? No, that's not what I'm saying, but that's not what he means. Him says Monday, and y'all got me started too early in the morning. Okay, I wanted to talk about Diddy, but I just had to come and say this, people. Stop lying to yourself. Happy Monday, good morning. Hey, cousins. Hey, how y'all doing? Can we please stop lying to ourselves? <clears throat> My husband and I, we're preparing for retirement. I don't think he's going to retire because we were talking about it. And he says, you know, I really enjoy what I do. I'm like, okay, well, I'll be retired. You do what you want to do. But <laughs> when it ties seven years, I'm gone. And one of the things you must do when preparing for early retirement, I will be retiring early. My husband will probably be retired at the right age, but I'll be retiring early, is figure out 
how much you need to live on for 25 years. You need to calculate your yearly expenses times 25 years, and that brought us to $1.5 million. In other words, we need to have $1.5 million saved and invested, not including Social Security, for us to retire and live a comfortable life. Another one the girls in the talk about uh, leaving an inheritance, the high value man and leaving the inheritance. She says, we live right above the poverty limit and we live a comfort <coughs> it's a comfortable life. That's a lie. There is no, excuse me. You live right above the poverty limit and you're living a comfortable life. Let's look up the poverty limit in the United States. In one of the videos I said it was 29, it was $29,000, but I forgot it's based on how many people is in your house. So the federal poverty limit depending on how many people is in your house, is this. Every year it goes up. So family of four, if your income is $31,000, and I'm making the assumption that includes, that's your gross, you're living below the poverty limit. So if you're living right above it, you're not living a comfortable life. That's a lie. You're lying to yourself. My husband and I live a comfortable life. We're both high earners. My husband is sole provider. He provides. We live on my husband's income. I save and invest my income for our future. We live in a modest home. We drive a modest car. Our son goes to a private school. We go out to eat. We go on at least one vacation per year. Sometimes two, but at least one. We have 401ks, 457bs, taxable accounts, savings, investments, emergency funds. That's comfort. So if you're living right above the poverty line, no, you are not living a comfortable life. That's poverty. I also pay $800 a month for health insurance and dental. Can we just stop lying to ourselves? Just stop lying. No, I, I am all for, you need to do what you need to do. If this is how we need to live so I can stay home, take care of my babies, then that's how you're going to live. But let's not lie and say it's comfortable. <laughs> it's not. Let's just stop lying to ourselves. A high, do y'all do know I know people give the high value man credit to Kevin Samuels, but he is not the author of the high value man. Y'all do know that, don't you? No, you don't, because you don't read. Kevin Samuels only blew it up talking about the high value man, but he's not the author. There are seven characteristics. There are seven traits, I'm going to use traits, of the high value man. And number one is his money. Value. It's not his character. Value is about money. How much is your ring value, Janice? When we call the insurance company to put insurance on it, they said you need to send us the, the, uh, the certificate. 
value. How much is your wedding ring set value, Janice? Same thing. Got it appraised? Send it to the insurance company. How much is this house value? My realtor is calling me every month. Janice, when are you going to sell your house? <laughs> I say, as soon as you find me another one where we can live comfortably. He showed me one $16,000 in taxes a year. No, sir. How much is your truck value, Janice? What is the value of your retirement? What is the value of your pension? Value has to do with money. So even though Kevin Samuels blew up the high value man, it is not his, his, his concept. It's somebody else's. And the number one trait of a high value man is you must make at least six figures. So if your man or if you do not make six figures, sir, you do not fit in the concept of the high value man based on this author. Now, people have made different lists since then, 20 lists, duh, duh, duh. but the original concept of the high value man, number one is money, value, money. Value is not talking about his character. High value is talking about his money. <clears throat> Excuse me. The high value man is a man of influence and means. Another characteristics, the original characteristics of a high value man is his net worth. You do know what net worth means. Money. How much are you worth? It's your assets minus your liabilities. So if you have no asset to minus your liabilities, you are not a high value man. What does assets mean? Let's use this house. My husband is almost done paying for this house. How much do you have in your 401k, Mike? Well, you take his 401k and you're minus what's, what's owed on this house. And that is my husband's net worth. High value man, man of influence and means. So if you have no money, you're not a high value man. If you have no assets to minus your liabilities, you're not a high value man. If, you're, if your net worth is negative, you're not a high value man. You're not a man of influence and means. So take all of your assets, pension, 401k, Roth IRA, I forgot the Roth, Roth IRA, taxable account, savings, emergency fund, even jewelry, you take all of your assets, you add them up and you take away your liabilities, the house, the car, and we have credit cards that we use. You minus your liabilities and what's left over is your net worth. So for example, let's use $500,000. Let's make the assumption my husband has $500,000 in his 401k. And let's say the house, the truck, the credit cards all add up to a negative $200,000. You would take the $500,000, you minus his liabilities, and that leaves him with $300,000. My husband's net worth is $300,000. Can you say that? I'm not saying he got 500. I'm just using that as an example. Another trait of the high value man with the original author is network. Do you know what network is? I'll give you an example. It's graduation time. 
a lot of the men emailing at church, calling my husband, bro, Mike, my, my boy is going, he going down south to this school. Do you know anybody down there that can keep an eye for my boy or look out for him? Network. My, my, one of my coworkers, her son's going to uh, Mount Clare State. And I was telling her, listen, I will have my husband call, call the, the uh, fraternity brothers over there to keep an eye out on him. Network. I had another coworker. Uh, her daughter was stranded down in one of the Carolinas, something with, with the with uh, the housing, and the girl was stranded. I said, let me call my husband so he could call somebody down there. In no time, they work it out. Network. One of my other husband's uh, frat brothers lost his job. I'm crying and hecking and carrying on. They had just bought a house. Baby on the way. My husband said, don't worry about it. The Alpha brothers got him. Before the man could file for his unemployment, he had a job network. One of the questions I asked my husband before I married him, if you lose your job, what's going to happen? He said, I'll probably get a package, uh, uh, but I will get on my email, my headhunter network. I'll come home, pack a few suits, be on the first thing, smoke into D.C., and I'll have a job in a few days because in D.C., I will get the job I need network. And then he says, but don't worry. I got savings and investments network. So if you do not have a group of network that you can pull from, you're not a high value man based on the original concept of the high value man. Influence means. So if you do not have means and you do not have influence based on the original concept of the high value man, you're not a high value man. But the high value man, I don't understand why are y'all so in your feelings because the high value man is a new concept. Because when I got married, I never knew about the high value man, but I knew about a good man in Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So if you're not leaving an inheritance for your children's children, you're not a good man. And inheritance means money cars, land, houses you can sell, retirement accounts, investments accounts, savings. Again, ask the Rockefellers inheritance, leave an inheritance for his children's children. It is generational wealth. That's what inheritance means, generational wealth. So we're going to pass it from one generation to the other generation. How many of you know these kids got their own character? What is character? Character is who you are when no one is looking. Again, my father's husband died at 94. Are you trying to tell me my husband didn't get no character until his daddy died? Is that what you're telling me? No. Inheritance is substance. Huh? My husband and I, we are working day and night building an inheritance for our children, money. When Lou Michael graduate from high school, he will not have to worry like the rest of our little black kids about how he's gonna pay for college. Why? Mommy and daddy is creating generational wealth for him and he will have money to pay for school. My husband wants him to go up to the all boys school Apparently, I'm giving in because we drove by the other school, and I'm like, I am not paying $20,000 for you to come down here with, with these little boys wearing their pants by, below their asses. So he might be going on up to that school. Guess what? Because of his network, my husband already know. All you have to do is call this person. Now, I'll get little Michael in. Network. So stop this foolishness about high value doesn't mean money and inheritance doesn't mean money. Yes, it does. You're just mad because you ain't got none. But instead of being mad, you should learn and start saving and creating generational wealth for your children. How many people we had to bury because they had no money? 
No generational wealth. None. My father had a, a second, third grade education. But you know one thing my daddy did? He would buy houses. He bought houses. And in his will, each of us gets a house. That's an inheritance. It's something I can fix up, sell, rent. It's an inheritance. It ain't character. Because God knows my daddy. Mm. But he going to leave us some money that I can use. So stop this foolishness, people. Stop it. You do not have to be considered a high value man. Because how many of us chose husbands before we heard about the high value man term? I did. I prayed for a good husband. And what is a good husband? A good man lives and inherits his children's children. So if I was dating my husband and he was not preparing to leave inheritance, I already knew he wasn't a good man and I needed to walk away because I wanted a good man. You could make $50,000 and you're a good man, but you're not considered a high value man. I don't, I don't understand why this is so confusing. No, you're just trying to squeeze yourself in this little spot that you do not belong because you don't add up. But it's okay, girl. It's okay. Stop being mad. High value man is a new concept. What were women doing before? Even when I wrote my book, 23 Tasa Guys You Might Meet, I knew of the high value man term, but I didn't put it in there because when I was dating, I didn't know the term, but I knew to look for a man of quality and substance and a good man. So as long as you got a good man, why are you trying to squeeze them into the high value uh, man community? He don't belong. Because he don't have the money and he don't have the net worth and he don't have the network. There's seven other traits but again this is somebody's content i'm not trying to take up the man's content again kevin samuels did not create the high value man y'all just think he do because you're a man but he did a white man created that concept i have to go i absolutely love you and adore you comment below come on back i have another video coming very soon Mwah. uh love you and adore you thank you and read the 23 types of guys you might meet huh read it like it's thank you, Holy Ghost. Like the 23 types of guys. That's a new concept. You never heard of the 23 types of guys before. And people have tried to, you know, the knockoff books out there that they came up with the 23 types, but nothing can nothing can sit on the level of the 23 types of guys you've met. Because God gave that to me. The Lord gave it to me. Love you. Got to go. Bye. Bye. Bye.